What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Daily Psalm, where every day we're going through one of the Psalms. Here we are on day 101 for the second time. Hallelujah. Psalm 101. A Psalm of David. I will sing of loving kindness and justice. Hallelujah. Loving kindness, that's grace. That's the grace of God. And justice. Because he's going to bring about justice in this earth. Everyone's going to be repaid for, according to their own deeds. And he's going to repay our enemies. I will sing of loving kindness and justice. To you, O Yahuwah, I will sing praises. Hallelujah. Praise his holy name. I will give heed to the blameless way. And what we're going to see here, it's a psalm of David, we know, but uh, we're going to see this. It's actually speaking, uh, it's actually Jesus speaking. I will give heed to the blameless way, the straight and narrow path. Jesus said, be perfect as your father in heaven is perfect. So that's what we need to strive for, perfection. To be just like him in every way. Now Jesus, actually, never mind, uh, I won't say that part. <laughs> I will give heed to the blameless way, hallelujah. When will you come to me? I will walk within my house and the integrity of my heart. His house, which is also the Father's house. I will set no worthless thing before my eyes. Let's set no worthless thing before our eyes. Let's not pay attention and look upon anything not of God. Let's just stay focused on Him, stay focused on His Word. We can't let ourselves be distracted by the things of this world, by, by TV, by entertainment, by social media. It's so easy to get caught up in these things, but we need to avoid it and stay focused on Him and on His Word. I will set no worthless thing before my eyes. I hate the work of those who fall away. Let's stay on a straight and narrow path. We can't sin. We can't fall away. It shall not fasten its grip on me. Falling away. A perverse heart shall depart from me. Depart from me. That's what he's going to say. Depart from me, you who work iniquity, you who work lawlessness. Those who he's going to save, those who are going to be in his presence, who are going to see God, are those with a pure heart and clean hands. We need to make sure we have a pure heart. Resist the devil and he will flee from you. Take every thought captive to the obedience of Christ. Every thought, we need to resist every evil inclination, every evil thought Satan throws in our mind. And keep our eyes on God. A perverse heart shall depart from me. I will know no evil. That's, and just like I just said, uh, depart from me, you who work iniquity. I never knew you. He says, I will know no evil. Whoever secretly slanders his neighbor, him I will destroy. No one who has a haughty look and an arrogant heart will, will I endure. We have to be humble. We have to be humble before God. Because who, who are we to think we're anything? God hates pride. It's all in his hands. 
The whole world is in his hands. He could take our life away with the blink of an eye. Every opportunity we have is by the grace of God. Any understanding that we have is by the grace of God. He doesn't owe us anything. No one who has a haughty look and an arrogant heart will I endure. My eyes shall be upon the faithful of the land. Hallelujah. Let's be faithful to God. That they may dwell with me. He who walks in a blameless way is the one who will minister to me. Let's walk in all his ways. We need to strive for perfection. And none of us are perfect. None of us are going to be perfect. And so we're made perfect. And so we have our new glorified bodies. But that's what we need to strive for. He who practices deceit shall not dwell within my house. He who speaks falsehood shall not maintain his position before me. Every morning I will destroy all the wicked of the land so as to cut off from the city of Yahuwah the New Jerusalem, all those who do iniquity. And this is speaking about during the millennial reign. Because there's not going to be any sin in that, in that city, in his city. Let's stay humble, brothers and sisters. Let's be right with him. Let's make sure we're walking in all his ways. Let's strive for perfection. Jesus wants us to be perfect. Or God wants us to be perfect just like Jesus was. Just like he is. So let's walk on a straight and narrow path and stay on it. We can't allow ourselves to fall away. We're living in the last days. There's not a lot of time left. Not a lot of time left at all. And all this may, speaking about the end, may come a lot sooner than we all think. And I don't know the truth of these things, but uh, it's being rumored that, uh, that an F-16 was shot down in, uh, I think it was Michigan, or F F F-16 crashed in a, there's being rumored that uh, China has something something to do with it, and there's apparently a bunch of Chinese troops and uh, apparently a bunch of Chinese troops in uh, in Canada, and uh, it's also being uh, it's also being rumored that uh, basically it was reported. That uh, uh, three three point something earthquake happened in Maine, up near the Canada border, and uh, like I said, I don't know the truth of tr the truth of any of this, but if this is the case, then <clears throat> then this is very serious, and time may be much shorter than we think, but it's being rumored that uh. And I, I only saw one source. Uh, there, there may be other sources out there, um, but I haven't seen them. But it's being said that uh, that wasn't actually an earthquake, that um, there was an underground bunker that was bombed with a 30,000 pound bomb, bunker buster. And, um, and around 50,000 Chinese troops were killed in an underground bunker in Maine. I don't know the truth of these things, but if that's the case, if that just happened, this is very serious. If that's the case that they're, they're around America now, then they may be preparing. I mean, we know what's gonna happen to America in these last days. And it's, uh, it's gonna be wiped out. 
and that may be lining up and uh you know i've just been thinking about a lot of this stuff and uh i believe the delay the bible speaks about before the end i believe the delay delay started last year in january likely january 3rd and um you know maybe maybe it's a one year delay and um uh, i believe there's three weeks between daniel 8 the attack on iran and uh, the end and three weeks from the third is tomorrow and there's also a solar eclipse tomorrow it's also a week before the conjunction on the 31st which is believed to be the star of bethlehem and uh much more much more going on right now we're living in the last days we got to be ready let's walk in all his ways let's make sure we have pure a pure heart and clean hands let's overcome let's spread the gospel people need to be warned about what's coming upon this world people need to be we got to sound the alarm we got to warn the people we got to preach repentance we got to preach the gospel there's not much time left. And if you don't have a relationship with Jesus Christ, call out to him today. We're living in the last days. Not much time left. Not at all. This really might go down um, in the next few weeks. If not, it's going to happen, uh, I believe, in the next few months. Because just based on everything, based on all the prophecies and and everything, I don't think we have another year before the tribulation time. I don't think we have another whole year. So repent and believe the gospel. The word repent means to have a change of mind, change of heart. A lot of these planes flying over me, or drones. Uh, to have a change of mind, a change of heart. Deciding to give your life to God. It's truly turning to God, giving your life to Him. Turning to Him for salvation, for the forgiveness of your sins. In the gospel, God requires perfection in order to enter His kingdom, in order to live forever. And none of us are perfect. We all sin and fall short of the glory of God. And the punishment for sin is death. That's the second death of body and soul in the lake of fire. There's only one way to life. We can't earn our way to eternal life because he requires perfection and no human is perfect. And that's why Jesus came. Jesus was born as a human, lived a perfect life, did nothing wrong. And in his perfection, he took on the punishment for us. He made the sacrifice for us so that through faith in him, we have our sins wiped away. If you, if you turn to him for the forgiveness of your sins, if you call out to Jesus to forgive you, you believe that he died for you to wipe away your sins you'll be forgiven you just got it's got to be a true repentance so you got to be a true calling out to god for the forgiveness of your sins so repent and believe the gospel give you love to jesus christ we're living in the last days thank you guys for tuning in that's in the psalm 101 love y'all shalom